Trillion Surgical's minimally invasive bunion plating system is a unique approach to triplanar hallux valgus correction. The MIB plate is intended to reduce healing time by minimizing soft tissue disruption and providing a quick, solid construct. Prior to starting the correction procedure, a lateral release of the adductor tendon may be performed to allow for increased rotational positioning. Make a 2 cm longitudinal medial incision over the intended osteotomy site. The incision size may vary depending upon surgeon preference and patient anatomy. A 2 cm incision is recommended to provide adequate access for hardware while limiting the final incision size. Create a transverse osteotomy through the metatarsal using a saw. Angle the osteotomy toward the fifth metatarsal head while splitting the difference of the perpendicular plane to the long axis of the metatarsal and perpendicular to the weight-bearing surface. Here, the blue line is perpendicular to the long axis of the metatarsal, and the yellow lines are perpendicular to the weight-bearing surface. The red line splits the difference and is the orientation of the osteotomy. Assemble the plate construct by securing the desired MIB plate to the appropriate plate placement guide using the threaded drill guides. Manually or with the use of a small mallet, broach at the apex of the deformity in the proximal medullary canal while distracting the distal bone segment. Remove the broach and using the plate placement guide assembly, insert the MIB plate into the broached region. The distal segment should be over-rotated, varus correction to ensure proper repositioning of the sesamoids below the metatarsal head. This is a key feature to the procedure as it ensures proper correction of the sesamoids and deformity. Temporarily secure placement utilizing two K-wires inserted into the correct length through the wire guide holes in the assembly. The distal K-wire holds the placement guide in position, while the proximal K-wire will be used for the cannulated screw. Pilot drill through one of the threaded drill guides for distal screw placement. Utilize the calibrations on the threaded drill guide and calibrated drill bit to determine the necessary screw length. If calibrated measuring is not preferred or possible, then the depth gauge may be utilized. Remove the threaded drill guide and insert the appropriate length locking screw into the pilot hole through the plate placement guide using the driver bit. Remove the distal placement K-wire and remove the plate placement guide assembly by sliding it back over the remaining proximal placement K-wire. Insert the interfrag drill guide into the remaining plate screw hole and pilot drill for an interfrag screw. Utilize the calibrations on the interfrag drill guide and calibrated drill bit or the depth gauge to determine the necessary screw length. Remove the interfrag drill guide and insert an appropriate length solid core non-locking screw into the pilot hole using the driver bit. Optionally, a cannulated screw may be utilized here instead. Slide the countersink over the remaining K-wire until the tip contacts bone. Rotate it back and forth to create the necessary recess. Measure for the necessary screw length by examining the end of the K-wire in relation to the marks on the cannulated depth gauge. Slide the appropriate length cannulated screw over the K-wire and insert the screw using the cannulated driver bit until desired compression is achieved. Remove and discard the K-wire, then close the surgical site per standard surgical technique. Trillion Surgical, champions for podiatry. For more information, contact a Trillion Cells representative or go to trilliantsurgical.com.